wanna tell them to do this show the Queen Quite coming on a live for Gully Geechee TV Nation News one more again from right here in Brunswick, Georgia, in the Gully Geechee Nation. And Hunter children don't see this your face before. This is the we representative, Rev. Zach Lyde. How Hunter to do this your freedom day? Oh my God. Nothing like today. This is the late day that God has and made. It. And he's brought to our members mm -hmm. from our ancestors. And it. Freedom, come on. Oh, freedom. Oh, oh freedom, freedom over, over me. me. Before I, I be a slave, I, I be dead, buried, buried in and my in my grave, grave and, and go home oh to God and, and be, free. be free. Yes, sir. And so now we got the September point set clock, Tornis Campbell Freedom School. We marching and ran last year to <laughs> launch this year thing. This year you take us indoors to the historic Roxy Theater. The historic Roxy Theater. Right across the street from Respect for Life. Yes, so, yes. So we got the books across the street yes, from the school. That's right. And we bring it back the story right here. The story comes live, on, come this live street, on this street. Now Albany Street, I already know, is a real historic street for our people, right? Extremely historic. So what used to go on over here? Oh, well... This was the avenue of black hospitality. This was where they decided that what happened is we were segregated and so they didn't want our money. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we ran our own little hotel over, over oh, there. Side. Okay. And we had restaurants uh -huh. and juke joints and uh, clubs All and, and down caf cafes and, and, and doctors and, uh -huh. and, 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 and uh, Gasoline distributing places, little grocery stores, barber shops, and the historic Roxy Theater. theater. Yeah. And so this was a movie theater or performance theater? It was a movie theater. We performed at our school. Uh-huh, which is where we marched <laughs> That's before. right. That's where we yeah. marched before. before. That's right. We performed there because right. there was, before you and I went into that building, mm -hmm. There was a bigger building that you didn't see mm -hmm. that they had torn down wow. called the gym mm. that black men had made with their own mm -hmm. hands mm -hmm. because they didn't want their children out here playing in the dirt, dirt. without having something. Proper facilities. That's right. 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 And they built a historic uh, gym. Yeah. Uh, Duke Ellington was in that gym. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, James Brown was oh, in that gym. I know that's right. <laughs> I don't want nobody giving nothing. Open up the door. I did it myself. That's yes, right. That's yes, right. Yes. We had our dances in the gym. Yes. We had our we had our PTA with, uh, uh, meetings. Meet, well, the meet the meetings was in 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 the in the uh, school gym. House. In the gym. Mm -hmm. I'm not the in gym. The, the auditorium so, where, where we met. Where that's we met. right. That's yes, right. That's still standing. That's still standing. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and but the, but but the the functions for. Socializing Socialize and, in that gym. Back, and, and basketball and right. all of that was in that gym. That's right. right. Yeah. And throughout the Gullah Geechee Nation, we all know that. Y'all know that. <laughs> Y'all sitting there watching right now saying, oh, that ain't nothing. Yes, we didn't say it there, say, hell in the gym. We didn't say it there, so So we know, we know. Because yeah. the tax dollars really was working for you then. That's right. we just run up in the place. I need the key. <laughs> we got dancers. <laughs> Now y'all need, need the key. I need the key. <laughs> All right. You know, so and so you mop this place up. We need the key. Now you know the day y'all y'all are scared. Y'all be talking about the school board don't Oh let my us goodness. We got that. to go through all of that red tape right. for the buildings we own as citizens. Yes. So that we can socialize, together. educate, yes. and energize together. Something's right. wrong with Something that. Something's wrong picture. with that. Well, you know what it is. <laughs> that 1740 slave court ain't off the books. Three it's or more Africans American. should not gather together. So, I mean, but this is a blessing because each year we have seen this spirit of freedom just growing, growing. and blossoming and growing, growing and blossoming growing. and growing. They can't and stop blossoming. it, can they, they can't Queen? Stop. You can't stop running with it. And so. <laughs> The thing that is so critical is that this time with this Tunis Campbell celebration, though, national news, people have been emailing me saying, Queen, we're praying for your people in Brunswick. I said, oh, y'all know Brunswick from the Delegation Nation. <laughs> because on the national news, you know, they hear about the shooting. Yes. They hear about the arrest. Yes. But then they don't have this on the national news. That's right. They don't have the September point set clock, right. Tunis Campbell that's Freedom right. School on the news. That's right. So when you say something is wrong, right. that's part of what's wrong. 
In fact, I, I, I will go a little further. Mm -hmm. uh, because we started this Freedom School, we started it because the kind of event that took place with that, that tragic event that took place with that child yes. was the reason that we felt the school was absolutely, absolutely necessary. necessary. Exactly. Because without that kind of development and training, right. what you end up having is a society mm -hmm. where what you think you see is so-called criminal, criminal justice, justice when in fact it's criminal. It's just criminal. There's no justice. <laughs> and no right. justice in it. Right. And so therefore, even though that incident is tragic, mm -hmm. Queen, we were going to call you back in, mm -hmm. in closed session mm -hmm. with other coalition partners right. so we can have a discussion that is intelligent mm -hmm. about where we go from here. Exactly. And because these are Gullah Geechee young men Man. that have been tried with a crime, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We remember what happened with Jesus. Come on. It don't necessarily mean Man, that you guilty. The crime. Right. It means that what happens mm -hmm. is he's been charged. charged. And That's so all. therefore, since he's they've been charged, mm -hmm. our responsibility from the uh, Tunis Campbell Septima Clark Freedom School mm -hmm. is to make sure that there is qualified yes. equal. Justice. justice, right, and that's where the justice comes <laughs> that's in. Right. That's right, because you can't go to an unjust law. Law and but justice. That's right, and you exactly. and, and 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 the idea about uh, um, the, the this community mm -hmm. being one that is in, that's not uh, that's perfect. Right. I right. can assure you that 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 Alcee Hastings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was impeached in this community. Oh, yes, that's another story, <laughs> right. I can assure you that uh, we've had Joyce Griggs, mm -hmm. who was disbarred Bar in, this, in community. this community. Right. I can assure you that there was a young woman by the name of uh, Lucinda Stevens mm -hmm. that was disbarred Bar in, in this, this community. community. Right. I can tell you about a young woman who was an attorney working with the public defender's office mm -hmm. that was jailed for trying to defend young men just like that. Like this, yes. I can tell you mm -hmm. that Carolyn Brown in our particular Gullah Geechee Nation mm -hmm. uh, territory of Liberty County mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. put in, in prison unjustly. unjustly. I can tell you right. that Sheila you can go down the line. We, we can, can be, here for be here for days. I can tell you right. about people. My, my brother, for an example, 17 years oh, old, yeah. was shot and killed mm. because my mother was running for office, well, in, office this in this community in 1967. Mm. So the community ain't whole. Right. Like somebody said that 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 uh, the mayor, Brian Thompson, says mm -hmm. is whole. Just what you see ain't what you're and getting. what you're getting. And it's interesting because when you mention all the list of names and you even started with Al C. Hastings, many of you saw Al C. Hastings here on Go Get Your TV Nation News and you're wondering, <laughs> is that the same name? That's the same name because Al C. Hastings is a U.S. Congressman. That's correct. All right? That's so correct. although the, the injustice here had him in court saying he shouldn't be who he is. That's right. All right, and say he did something that he ended up not doing. That's correct. He's now on Capitol Hill. That's so right. what does that tell you? So every one of these names you mentioned, if we truly look at what's really there, That's we right. would have realized that there was a man behind that curtain, That's right? Correct. Tell you don't look at the man That's behind right. the curtain, there's a man behind the curtain. Right. And one thing that you said that was so critical before we start talking about that is coming in and having an intelligent conversation. Yes, sir. Because we know that you launched this as the intelligence advancement movement. My God. All right? Yes, ma'am. So when people saw that on Gullah Geechee TV before, they said, whoa, <laughs> Queen, that's powerful. Y'all are actually, you got black people starting off a movement that begins with the word intelligence. That's right. That's intelligence right. advancement movement. That's correct. And so how do you advance intelligence if you don't educate one another that's and correct. you can't educate one another without sitting down that's and correct. having those dialogues and communicating and teaching critical thinking. That's correct. You see? That's correct. And so most of our people are not taught critical thinking anymore. That's right. We're taught to regurgitate what we last saw. That's correct. To, to regurgitate the larger mainstream media's reports. That's correct. But not report on one another and what the Bible tells us. Make yourself a good report. That's right. Right? That's right. And so that's what we're working toward with the that's freedom right. school. That's right. That's what we're yeah. that's what our beginning is. Yes. That's that and and, and we know as you put it so well in that community today, you put it so well, you said, 
all of this Come on. comes from God. It yes. ain't it ain't what the courts say. Right. It ain't how these little uh, conniving lawyers. You right. had conniving uh, folks uh, all along, <laughs> all along, and they ain't gone yet. They ain't gone. They they that doing the same thing. That spirit is coming thing. right on back That's again. Correct. That's I right. mean, it just so happens to be Resurrection Weekend, right? <laughs> right. It just so happened to be in, Resurrection in fact, Weekend. In fact, because because it's what we call Resurrection Week Weekend. We ought to examine Tunis Campbell's Come life now. Yes. because it was Tunis Campbell that they first put in prison. Come on. You see, exactly. doing the kind of work right. that would have advanced the community right. long past where we are uh, now. Today. Exactly. If we had used what you gave me, those two books, yes, reading, self-determination self -determination mm -hmm. and self-preservation. Right. And land yes, ownership. And, oh my goodness, Economic queen, development. Do you Economic know where we would have been? Right. Okay. I know. You know I know. <laughs> and it's so critical when you mention Tunis Campbell and his persecution. Yes. All right? Yes. Because here it is. This is a man of God. I'm telling Once you. Once again, this is a man of God <laughs> yes. who is saying, God has ordained me to be sent to this land. Bingo. To now be a part of what? The Freed Men's Bureau. Bureau. And now he takes it truthfully to heart I'm and says, you. these five islands, this we on. <laughs> we on. And, and, and the brothers, y'all going to be our army. That's correct. We going to line up these houses like yes, this. That's we right. have a government structure that's like right. this. That's right. Brothers and sisters, your family's going to come together like, like this. this. That's right. And now here it is. They go, uh oh, I think we made a mistake. A major mistake. We, he can't take it seriously. Right. It's not just a perfunctory duty to that's him. Correct. Oh, no, then we got to do so. That's right. And there it is. Again, we have a great parallel between Resurrection Weekend, Tunis Campbell Celebration, Jesus and Tunis, and the raising of the people. And, 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 and that's a great observation because of the fact that folk kept saying, you are having all of that celebration on Easter weekend. All right, come on now. Oh, uh, you know that you uh, are not going to be successful. Mm. This is the day, the time that Jesus was risen from the dead and uh, spoke to folk. I said yes, right. and that's why he want us to raise Tunis All right, and right Septima now. Clark up, right. up so that the world can know mm -hmm. that Jesus advanced our lives right. through them right. when the people thought that what they did would have been buried. buried. We are not burying not them. Buried. We ain't burying our ancestors. Right. Our ancestors right. have fought long and, and hard, hard for our freedom. Absolutely. That is exactly why we have been moved to do it in yes. the traditional so-called Easter weekend, yes. knowing that there was going to be folk who said, Oh, I just oh, can't, I can't make that. that. Right. Oh, yeah, well, that's well, okay. I, and I tell you right now, <laughs> they ain't here to help you lift Septima and Tunis and they ain't lifting Jesus neither. That's correct, And that's sister. why we even got a song in the church that said, can somebody help <laughs> me lift Jesus? <laughs> All right? And so definitely, can somebody, somebody help me help lift, me lift Jesus? Jesus. So right. if you got to call out for help <laughs> and you are ready in the church, yes. you know we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to go and get back out here. What a prayer you gave us today, too, by the way. Oh, thank you, sir. You started this thing today thank with, you, we had a we had a, a group of men who, uh, we had what we call the drum call to freedom. Mm -hmm. Boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Mm. And that's because what happened is God gave us rhythm. Yes. From our homeland to the present moment. Moment. It looks as if we trying to teach the rhythm out of out our of children. Out of our people. Something yes. is wrong Something with that is wrong picture. With that. We need to get right, get on, right back on back and to you the know, movement. Yes. Oh, I've seen your sister. You know, you know I know. <laughs> and, and it's so interesting you mentioned that because I just told a group of students yesterday that the Fish Jubilee singers' versions of the spirituals and not the Gullah Geechee way they That's heard. correct. That's it right. It was anglicized. That's Therefore, correct. the spirit was altered. That's correct. When you alter the cadence and That's the rhythm, I'm you take this, show. <laughs> you don't care the drum and tune with. You got the people up. <laughs> That's one, two. Two, three, yeah, four. four like you that's, it. that's European. Yeah, that's, Where that's, this young that's no, no. Let me go back and use go. the right word. That's buckle. Ain't it? Okay. <laughs> and that ain't a week. That's right. That so we. again, that means they're taking the drums again. That's from correct. That's so correct. So we got to put them back. That's correct. And so it's so good that y'all put them back. We in put the them back today. That's right. Today. We let them know that that's what right. happens is 
You cannot keep right. our freedom march from beginning today. Absolutely right. From pity to power. Exodus from pity, pity to, to power. power. That's yes, where sir. we going. That's where we at. <laughs> all right. And Hunter Chiller, know if you did with me, power gonna be all what Hunter see. We're so glad that Hunter joined. We won more again for another Tunis Campbell celebration. And over. This just the beginning. And so listen up.
my great freedom fighter, Sister Janelle Ford. My first name is Isabella Humphrey. I grew up in the church, but I was sold many times to many times. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
and in the carrots. I open no blood puzzles. Oh, uh, give me no bad pay. You know? Mm. Look at me. Come oh. on. I done plowed and I done planted and I done gathered in the bones and no man could hear me. And then I won't. I can work as much as and eat as much as any man. When I could get it. And my bad, my lashes fell too. And I won't. I'm on 13 years. And I have seen yet my own of them so long in this thing. And when I tried out on my mama's grief, ain't nobody but Jesus had me. Yes, sir. My own house, yes, sir. 
You do not, do not speak that language. And you want me to come down here. And I have trouble. I've been on the chapel just last week. Nah. You want me to come here and tell them about some meeting. It's a shame. There's a meeting that takes place in Savannah. But it means nothing to me. Because the people who should have been at the meeting were not there. Oh, right. That you see many table tappers that were there, 20 table tappers. Mm -hmm. And there's some table tappers that were there. Oh, my God. That one, oh, I let you know this. I am freeborn and have always been freeborn. My name is Mingo Boa. And that my people have been here since the 1800s. Right here in this land right. from Macintosh all over to the Carolinas. Right. And my people. When I am there at the meeting in the Green Mountain House on the second floor, because of my business, I have with Reverend Ulysses House to be out of Buford County. But good. Right there after Buford. Buford County, a great land there. That is the pearl of our people. But back to the people who I thought should have been there. And just like we have a celebration, it was one who was not there, and I decided, you want me to speak of the other 20? Many of them were not. They were traitors to our people. I'm not here to honor traitors, no. but I go one who I love. This man said to me of us, he was at the EME church. He went and said, God is a Negro, yeah. a God in Africa. And what pains me today that many of us who are up in heaven, we hear many of us say, it doesn't matter how the divine is portrayed. That is madness in his life. Here it is, something not even known that your people here in Glen County in the back of us, when they were holding church services on Sunday, they were told, you don't pray to God, you pray to me. Mm. Your life, your food, your clothing are all tied to me. Mm. So when the people are holding church services on Sunday, they're not praising God, but they're praising the plantation owners, the people who hold them in captivity. Right, right, right. Bishop Perry made me a turn of born right there in Abbeville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. He will go and say that God is a hero. God is an African. Yes. And that man, when he goes and says that, they told him someone said that he is cracky. cracky. That he has madness and folly in his mind. Mm. Bishop Turner, he was then making the one tell him and writing a thing by the preacher's sermon in the 1800s and 1900s. He said that I am mad, as many of them said, because I said God is an African. Uh, mm. He said that all races on the planet are still about the divine of themselves. Except the Negro. He said, as long as the Negro think that God is white, right, they will think that the devil is black. And always think that they came with the devil. Yes. He said, let me be mad. Let me be cracky. Ain't it? I will always say that God is a Negro. God is an African. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that is why the Amy Church got so heavily involved with the God's missionary work in Africa, Central and South America, and in the Caribbean. And that he will leave the last ship of Africa, leaving out on the port of Savannah, going to Liberia. To begin, we understood. And some of you not even realizing that your ancestors, many of them, when you saw proudly from plantations, that they are praising the people who held them in captivity. And even when they get their freedom, they still are identifying God with other people, not within themselves. And even to carry on. And that's why I go and look. That Bishop Troy, why did he say that? Because he saw how the little children were looking at their parents carrying on this magic. He said, we must stem the tide. We must end it. Yes. Well, he wanted the seed to be planted that he wanted African children who would become African adults and elders to know that they are tied to the divine. Oh my God. See, some still be a little lost. But true. <laughs> Because I was on that song, I tell the children, I said that you come from the land of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And many when they hear the land of Jesus, they're going to think of Israel. Israel. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even realize that Jesus was educated in Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. There's a kid in Egypt that he's educated. That is where the call now comes to tell Jesus he must not come over the water. Mm. And that's what I'm going to tell them. So I don't even understand it. But even when you go and say, it does not matter about how the healing of life is portrayed, you will not find the fuck up portraying the African God in their church. Mm. Oh, some of you don't know about me. That means you're being a fuck You see no African God images in their churches. No African Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that Jesus understood the importance of lineage and family and connected. John the Baptist understood that. 
It's only the children of the day who don't understand the importance. And Bishop Harry McNeil Turner, who I love, oh my God, he along with Reverend Ulysses Alston out of Buford County, and the other minister who I thought should have been at the meeting, they are the ones who bring the Republican Party to Georgia. Mm -hmm. See, some don't know that in the South, it is African men who are the founders of the Republican Party. Right. And the founders of the Republican Party in South Carolina is the Gullah Statesman. Out of South Carolina. <laughs> and that I go out at those great men and them, the great bishop out of Abbeville. The other one that I thought should have been there is sitting there in the green Belgian house. But the one who was born right on the Savannah River, on a plantation owned by the Potter's family. And when he was born, his mother must go up to the family and say, how much would it cost me to purchase my son, James Peter? Mm. They told her, they said, it would cost $300 for him. And now, let me tell you the folly time is that. This African woman, she goes into the family of a man that had impregnated her mm. to purchase his freedom. Mm. She had to go to the family of a man that had raped her. Mm. And now I asked for her son to be mm. Some don't even know the story that James Sims, he, a lean boy, as he tells me later on, he said, Nemo, when my mother did that, purchased my freedom for $300 from the cursed father's family, he said, that made me understand I must fight for the race. Mm -hmm. I am only a race man. That I must carry on the legacy. For my mother sacrificed for me, and I must sacrifice for my people. Mm -hmm. Reverend James Sims. And there are Sims When they said it was against the law to teach Africans to read and to write in Georgia, there were at least seven Africans that operated the underground schools in Savannah. Mm -hmm. And James Sims operated one of the underground schools. But his school was one of two schools that got discovered. And when it got discovered, he received Moses' law. You children know what Moses' law could be? 39 lashes. He's put 39 times a picture teaching the people to read and to write. And $500. And that's what sins were later going to do, even after being put 39 times. He would go back to teaching African children. And I go and look at you all from heaven and I go and say, we do not have the leaders that they should have children back in the past. Because many of them that they were real today, guess what they do? They were turning it back. All right. The Reverend James said to continue. And then he would then leave and go to Trinidad. And they go from Trinidad to Boston. And there in Boston, he would get you up to the Prince Hall Basins. And he would bring you to Georgia. He would bring you Rico Lodge and Hilton Lodge. He is the father of Prince Hall Masons in the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And he's the stars. The first worshipful master. But at all, I'm not talking about his Masonic ties. Because there's something else that James said was also. He was also an agent for the Freedmen's Bureau. Mm -hmm. And right there on the Geechee River, Brian County and all of that, we see a rebellion that takes place. Oh, you had one who came last year and spoke about the rebellion. Right there. When they took a plantation there. And Brian, in Yamaha, in Louisville. And they called the rebellions in the after that took over the land. They created their own governments. And don't say Catherine. James Sims was also one that they called the thought of the side to racism. And when African women exercised their rights to vote in Bryan County and in Liberty County, he led groups of African men out of Savannah down to Bryan County and to Liberty County to make sure that Africans were able to vote. And they were going against what you call the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, <laughs> Some of you think you see your, your story, you hear the story from your grandparents, how Africans are afraid of the Klan. Africans are afraid of the Klan. That's when Sherman would not go and ask Reverend Garrison for oh, I want you to know this. Many of them who were sitting up there in that meeting, many of them have been in captivity for half a century. Mm -hmm. One almost three quarters of a century. Wow. Sitting right there. They now got their freedom once the union came into Savannah. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's when they go out of the meeting. And that's when Reverend Garrison Frazier was just shortly there. He said, the government will send the fight in the war. And he said, we're going to take care of 
ourselves and have a surplus. Hmm. And what did the surplus represent? That meant that we would be able to go into business and operate business for ourselves. And Reverend Fraser said also, he said that it is not possible for us to be around the buckles because they have a presence that they will continue to have for years. As we tell you, we were at ground zero. That you always talk about ground zero. We were at ground zero. We understood what was happening. And then we look and see how you want to turn your backs on the legacy. Bigger than is what you call poke jewelry. We were at ground zero. We saw it. And then what happened? That's when Sherman have decided to go to each one of the table tappers. Look, we saw the table tap on the impeach of it. They go to each one of the table tap and say, Do you agree with Brother Fraser? All of them say, Yes, I agree. Except for one who was 26 years old, but he wasn't from here. He was from Maryland. He had never been born with the Abbott's like the George Hill. Abbott's out of Bryan County, Liberty County, Wills County, Brooks County, Chatham County, Cupid County. And that was Reverend James Lynch hmm. of the Amy Church. Hmm. Reverend Lynch would say, no, I think that the Africans and the Brothers <coughs> coming together. Hmm. But again, hmm. he had not been around. Right. But I suggest you know this about Reverend Lynch. By the time Reverend Lynch leaves Georgia, he now goes to Mississippi. <laughs> and Reverend Lynch becomes Secretary of State in Mississippi. Hmm. And he now has a different mindset. He was like, no, the Africans must be together. <laughs> But he also understands that we must have political power. Yeah. And that's why he becomes the Secretary of State in Mississippi, a Republican leader. And so then, you're going to see over at Second African Baptist Church on that Sunday morning, 3,000 Africans have now gathered there. And Sherman so now comes and makes a pronouncement. He says that all the band of rice plantations on the islands go on 30 miles inland. From Charleston County down to the St. John's River in Florida, shall be long to the This land now became known as Sherman's Reservation. Mm. Yeah. And that is what those Africans now, who James Silver, the Asian force, said, We now own this land. Yes. We have labored on this land. Yes. That they have gotten the way from us for free, and no longer shall that happen. So as I was there during those time periods, because oh, why was I there? Not only did I have a relationship with Reverend Houston, I also had a relationship with the Savannah Morning News. All right. <laughs> I might need others to let you know this. I was a part of the people who were the team for the Savannah Morning News. Oh, the mechanism of something like that. See, because what many of them know when you talk about papers being printed, you see how you have all these things that go and now make the dial, just like this little item here. You don't know, realize that it was a human machine that used to print this in the 1800s and the 1700s of the time. Mm -hmm. African men at the Savannah Morning News were the ones who printed what you call the Savannah Morning News. Yeah. See, you all think of the devices they had with it? It's nothing. Your mind you going to think about what happened before then. You have human machines. Yeah. So that's why I have to be there to make sure that what they were writing down and putting down was correct. Right. So that's why I was there at the interview. And you go and speak up something tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. You make me curse right now. <laughs> it's always been a vessel. Okay. Y'all will feed open sea. Y'all will feed open sea. Put an end to it quickly. Mm. And have pride in yourselves. Mm. Yeah, yeah. In your story. Yeah. Know your story accurately. Y'all yeah. will feel open sea. Because some say y'all will feel open sea. And there are those who said, Alan the Conge. We never forget about those who say Alan the Conge. That's why we say y'all will feel open sea. Because when they say Alan the Conge, that meant goodbye, cool world. Mm. Their physical demise came. Mm. 
mm. and they died, mm. we don't forget the legacy of our people. Surely you must know and be the ones who have the heart, like Bishop Mary McNeil Turner, yes. like Reverend Ulysses House, yes. and also like Reverend James Sims mm. and Garrison Frazier, mm. those men who stood up, oh my God, I leave you with this. Do you know who the revolutionary were or the militants were in the 1800s and the 19, early 1900s? It was the ministers and the businessmen. Right. Well, and when I'm there in heaven now, I go and look and see that those are the ones who have less heart than anyone else. Now. Yes. When the legacy was in the 1800s, it was the ministers and the business people. They were the militants. Yes. Yes. That's why their legacies remain today. Yes. That's the Kong gave. Huh. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! From the Queen, let us pay attention to our Queen. Thank you. And as we move from city to power, there are some instruments that we yet need. As the spirit of Dave Queen brought forth our ancestors' spirits from all these years past, that many of you call his story, mm -hmm. that I call our story, mm -hmm. all right? Because we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. That's right. Mm -hmm. We are the living embodiment of this legacy of freedom. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that is only if you recognize that freedom has been and still remains a choice. Mm -hmm. There are those amongst you now have not chosen free. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. I'm going to say it again. There are those amongst you now that have not chosen free. Say it. That's right. They have chosen to remain in bondage. That's, That's right. right. They have chosen to sign the contracts that will put you all and keep you in bondage. Lord Jesus. Because they said you have no right mm. to self-determination. My God. Which is the foundation that this Tunis Campbell celebration sits on. Mm -hmm. When you talk about having a freedom school with the name Septima, Poinsett, Clark, and know. Tunis Campbell was in it, mm -hmm. you do them a disservice when you do not recognize and overstand self-determination and right. that it is your human right That's to right. freedom. That's right. When we have stood on front lines, and Reverend Lyon is on the Assembly of represent, uh, Representatives for the Gullah Geechee Nation. Has stood when others said, no, you need to go sit down. <laughs> Has spoken when they said, close your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Trump down when they said, oh no, you're not supposed to speak that way. Mm -hmm. These were our rights to do so. And yet, people would say to me, well, who gave you the right to be a queen? God did. Who gave you funny talking Negroes on the coast from Carolina to Georgia to Florida to say you are the Gullah Geechee Nation? God did. That's why human rights law surpasses domestic law. In other words, governmental law. All of what you just heard, the spirit speaking, has not yet ended. It's taken new forms and new names. And if you don't realize your choice of freedom, you're in bondage and you don't even know. <laughs> because the chains are no longer needed on arms. The chains go here. Come on. So that is why this freedom school that we march through these streets and march here to go to Selden Park, we were marching into freedom right there. That's right. And some of y'all here today watched us as we went by you on the street. That's right. <laughs> I remember your faces. <laughs> then we came here in Port Life Nation and we shouted and we went up and down some of these blocks and some of the other ones over by the other school. Give it a name, bro. Richard Colored Memorial School. Give it other names, Sister Day. Right there.
on the front line trying to keep your park open, keep your schools open. Why do you think they closed? Because mm. these are your places where you should gather. These are your places where you can teach. These are your places where your spirit gets reunited. This is where your spirit gets reunited with the ultimate spirit of God. That's why they closed them. They tried to close Denmark Bessie's church in Charleston too, but it didn't work. <laughs> because he made a choice. Although he was a quote free man on paper, he felt he was not a free man until all his people were free. That's right. So for the 17 appoint St. Clark, Tunis Campbell Freedom School, I want to present these two books on the right to self-determination to Reverend Zach Lott, who I know he don't like to read. <laughs> children were to tune in one more again for Gullah Geechee oh, TV right. Nation News. This week representative the Reverend Zach Lai and this year the Queen Quet head funded body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. So glad that they're to tune in one more again to this TV station and you know every April 1st the Tunis Campbell birthday and always the time we leading in to Tunis Campbell celebration. So hundred children wherever hundred to be bring that drum on back and <laughs> show with we because free is all we gonna ever be. Peace oh. and blessings. Peace yeah. and blessings. Yeah.